All right, we're going to be getting into some examples using the cosine rule now. If you haven't watched the video on the cosine rule, go back and watch that before we get into some examples. So just in case you forgot or you missed it, the formulas uh, from the formula sheet or from the last video or from wherever you get your formulas, c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. Or the alternate version, cos c equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared on 2ab. They are our two different versions. Okay, our first version here, best for sides. Second version, best for angles. All right, without further ado, let's get a question up here. Question one. Oh dear. Question one. We'll take. X, we'll take 10, and we'll take 11, and we'll take this being 40 degrees. Okay, so we talked about when to use the cosine rule before. Um, if you look back at the formulas, you'll notice they all involve three sides, one angle. So cos C, A, B, and C were all sides. Um, so I've got here one, two, three sides and an angle. So this is definitely going to be a nice cosine rule question. And my cosine rule, I'm trying to find my side here, so the side version of it says that c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. So substituting in x squared, or if I, you know, if I label first, um, I'm going to call that c because it's what I want to get. So this is this will be c here. a and b don't matter so much. a, b, a. And B, as long as you line the C up, it kind of is then the right form for uh, using the formula. So you might want to relabel here and there. But if you can get C lined up at the start um, for your unknowns, that will fall into the formula nicely every single time. So relabel if you need to. Substituting in C is X. So X squared equals A squared plus B squared is 10 squared plus 11 squared minus 2 times 10 times 11 times cos uh, 40. And I'll substitute all that, we'll put all this here into my calculator. I'll let you know what value I get because it could get a bit messy. So 10 squared plus 11 squared minus 2 times 10 times 11 times cos 40. So I get then x squared equals uh, 52.47 and you should not erase your decimal places on your calculator at this stage. You're midway through a question, midway through a question, don't do any rounding just yet. I'm going to square root both sides then to get x by itself. So x Square root of 52, which you can put in the calculator here, square root, answer, 7.24. x equals 7.24, and that's units, and that's to 2dp. Okay, make sure you check the units, make sure you check the rounding for your question. Pretty straightforward starting question there for you. A second question. So question two, let's say you're given this. Uh, that can be x there, this can be 60 degrees. Uh, let's say you've got also uh, eight and, I don't know, 15 will do. So let's also say, just in terms of labeling, let's call this uh, a, b, and C. So in terms of your smaller sides then what you would have this would be A, this would be B, and this would be C. Now hopefully you're looking at this and saying hang on a minute your A is your X not your C. So if you want to relabel come along 
cross this out, you're going to use C for that, and change the C as well, that's going to have to change, because you're about to use C for something else. So call this C, call that C, and then the C's will become A's. A and C have just switched over there. A became C, A became C, C became A, C became A. And then just substituting into your cosine rule formula. Uh, if you want to, you can skip writing the formula out itself. Um, when you're learning it for the first time, I would recommend writing it out a few times, like you know, 10, 20 questions, just to get the feel of it. If you're really serious about memorizing it, write it out every single time. Um, and that will save you going back to the formula sheet, will help you with your understanding, help get that deep understanding there, um, and just quicker. I mean, formula sheet is kind of a bit annoying. It's going to be 8 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 8 times 15. It's just substituting into the formula, guys, times cos 60. Okay. So a it was c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. And a is 8, b is 15. Okay. Um, Calculating this. So it's putting that in. 8 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 8 times 15 times cos 60. Gets you 169. That's convenient. X squared is 169. So square root both sides. Make sure you write the square root sign in. Uh, in previous years, the edges, it actually took marks away for not doing that, which I think is pretty harsh. I think the markers complained, well not markers complained, but teachers complained about the marking that year. Anyway, x is 13, that's the exact, so 13 units, whatever the units may be on the day. Okay. Um, that's really all there is to it. Okay. Um, if you were given, so say you've got, in this question here you've got the 60 there, you've got the x in here, if you're given different angles in here, so say you're given this angle instead, let's say you had um, like 30 there and x still being there, you could use sine rule to get the other angle here. So it might be a few more steps in the question. But if it's a straightforward question, it will come set up for you. Be aware you might have to do sine rule, cosine rule a couple of times in a question to get different values to work it all out in the end. Um, these are nice pretty little examples. Don't always expect that. Um, I'm not going to get too hard just for my examples here with you guys, so you guys can just get started. Um, those two questions were both looking at finding the sides, so looking at the angles, question three. So let's put theta there, let's make this three, five, and six. So labeling away again. You want C always being your unknown for your cosine rule questions. Um, a, B, that's B, that is A in there. Labeling correctly. There's a whole video on labeling. That's how important labeling correctly is. Substituting in cos theta. Well, let's put rule out first. So the rule says that cos C equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared on 2ab. I would always recommend running it out. No reason not to, except for maybe time in an exam, but doing practice questions, write it every single time. Cos theta, cos theta is c. A and b are 5 and 3, so 5 squared plus 3 squared minus c squared, so 6 squared on 2ab, 2 times 5 times 3. I'm going to put this side here into the calculator. So just make sure you get your fraction correct. You guys have got nice calculators. It shouldn't be too bad for you. If you're getting this wrong, I'm sorry. Minus 6 squared on 2 times 5 is 10, 30. Yes, that gets me minus 1 on 15. and just shift causing both sides there and get you theta. So shift cause that answer on the calculator. 
we should get 93 degrees um, 49 minutes okay and all the angle questions will be very similar to that okay. again you might need to relabel um, but you can expect them all to be quite similar to that take home notes know your cosine rule know which one you're using when it's the angle here is by itself this is the one that's good for angles. The one that had the side by itself is good for sides. If you can get that, go to the formula sheet, substitute in, just work it through. I think it's pretty straightforward, really. Um, thanks for watching, and best of luck doing a few for yourselves.